Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimal from Helpdeck and in today's guide video, I am going to guide you on how you can recover your Hotmail account's password without your phone number as well as an alternate email address. But before we get started, if you are new to our channel, then do make sure to leave a like as well as subscribe because we promise to bring you more awesome videos like this one. And without any further ado, let us go to our computer screen. So in order to recover your Hotmail email account without the alternate email address or your phone number, what you want to do is simply open any of the browser which you have on your Windows device. Once you open your browser in the search box, you want to type in recover Hotmail account and then press enter. As you click on enter, you want to go ahead and click on the first link which says recover your account. So simply go ahead and tap on recover your account at the first option. Once you do that, it will take you to a login screen of Microsoft of recovering your account. Here what you want to do is simply enter the email address of the Hotmail account which you are trying to recover. So as you can see, this is the Hotmail account which I want to recover in this video. So to do that at the bottom, go ahead and click on next. As you click on next, you can see that it will ask you to verify your identity with your phone number. But in this video, we are going to learn how to verify it without any of these. So let's assume that I don't have this phone number. So what are you going to do? What you want to do is at the bottom, you can see the option called I don't have any of these button right over here. You want to simply click on this I don't have any of these button right from the screen. So it will take you to another page which says what Microsoft account are you trying to get back into? So you can go ahead and enter the Microsoft account of which you are trying to recover. And at the bottom, you can see an email address. This doesn't have to be an alternate email address. It can be a new email address completely different to the one which you have or connected to your previous email address. So let's say I just have a very blank and empty or spare email address on the side. I'm going to simply enter that email address right over here. Once you enter another email address, if you don't have an email address, you can also create a new email address. You can see this is just a contact email address and not really another a whole new email address. So once you enter your email address, you want to verify the capture right over here by entering what you see on the screen. And once you do that, you want to go ahead and click on next. So as you can see, once you click on next, it will ask you to check your email for a message from the Microsoft account team. So you want to go and log into the email which you entered in the contact email section. Once you do that, you might have received a code from the Microsoft account team right over here. And as you can see, we have successfully received the code right over here. I'm going to simply copy this code and then go ahead back and paste it in this box right over here. Now, assuming that we have done this part, you want to go ahead and click on verify. So once you click on verify, you can see that tips to get back into your account. So if possible, answer these questions from a device and location that you've used before with this account. On the following pages, answer as many questions as you can. If you don't know an answer, just try your best guess. So what you want to do is simply enter the first name of your previous Hotmail account which you typed in and then also enter the last name. You want to make sure that your birth date is also correct as for whatever you entered it in your previous Hotmail account. Once you do that, go ahead and enter the birth date as well and then also select the country or the region. Once you have filled in all of the information according to your previous Hotmail account, you want to go ahead and click on next. And as you can see, it is asking us other passwords which you have used for this account. So you want to simply go ahead and enter the password which you might have used previously but don't remember. It doesn't necessarily have to be the forgotten password, so simply go ahead and do that. So you can also use have you used any of the Microsoft products below with your account before, check all that apply. You can see it simply select outlook.com or hotmail. Have you ever purchased something from Microsoft before? And if you remember that you have purchased anything, you can click on next. Or if not, then you can simply click on next and then go ahead with the process. So as you can see, it is saying for these questions, you might want to ask to help from family, friends or business contacts to confirm the email address and tell you the subject lines of emails you've sent. If you remember any of the email addresses which you've sent, you can simply enter them in this box right over here. And you can also enter the subject lines of your recently sent emails of one text per box. So if you don't, then you can simply go ahead and click on next right over here. As you click on next, it will say we'll send an email to the new email address to let you know if you've provided enough information to recover your account, it usually takes us about 24 hours to review the information submitted. Simply click on OK, go back to your another email address and try to refresh it. 
and you might receive an email from Microsoft account team if your account is eligible for recovery. So as you can see, it says your account is request for recovery for the Hotmail account. It says helpful tips for filling out another form. Account recovery request is, no, is now closed. So as you can see that we have successfully received the email from the Microsoft account team. So if your account is eligible for the account recovery, then it will tell you that if you have provided enough information, then you can successfully recover your account. If not, then unfortunately, they will have to close the Hotmail account of which you are trying to recover. So in this way, you can really easily recover your Hotmail account without the alternative email address or the phone number. If you like this video, then do make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, then simply make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you in our next video.